The city needs young people. The Westmoreland Senate is trying to attract young, skilled workers from the Federal Republic to address the rising average age of the city's residents. In 1970, one-fifth of West Berliners are already over 65. Boundless pleasures await young people in the metropolis. Berlin never sleeps, promises the advertising slogan. West Berlin is an El Dorado for revelers. The material incentives are even more alluring. Berlin's future residents can look forward to generous bonuses. Only in West Berlin, however. Berlin bonus. Reimbursement of travel expenses, transitional allowance, reimbursement of removal expenses. And finally, an offer which has been a huge hit, a reduced interest loan, known as a setup loan. Despite these subsidies, removal vans from the Federal Republic head to West Berlin all too rarely. Berliners on the eastern side also get a small wage bonus, although they need little incentive to stay in the city. People living in the provinces are more than happy to move here and have flocked to the capital of the GDR in droves. East Berlin's graduates try to stay if they can. In 1970, this dream comes true for medicine student Rute Rabe, a modern flat in the city center. If you have children, then it's just such a wonderful thing. With her husband and child, Ruth moves out of an attic flat with coal heating into her new living space. It is no penthouse, but has a bath, district heating and Alexanderplatz on the doorstep. However, customized furniture is a rarity in East German stores. Like many others, Ruth enjoys a spot of do-it-yourself. I upholstered all of my chairs, my armchairs, my sofa bed. I went out and found fabric I liked and then made covers, even for my lampshades. I did it all myself. There is no lack of basic provisions, but getting special goods requires good connections. We helped each other out. One person had this, and you had that, and you'd exchange things. My fruit and veg lady always put something aside for me. 